Hello, everybody. Good morning. Uh, my name is Brad Hoffman. I'm the Chief Scientific Officer at Genome BC. Uh, uh, I'm delighted to uh, welcome you all to the Genomics Forum for 2015. So, uh, uh, so this session today is going to uh, we're following the, the form and the comments that we've received from all of you before. We um, really, really enjoy kind of having uh, the panel discussion format today, so we're going to follow that. Um, and we're, we're really the focus today is going to be on entrepreneurship. And, uh, and what you're going to see is that um, what you're going to hear from me and what you're going to hear from Alan and the speakers of, of how we really see entrepreneurship kind of penetrating um, the fabric of what we're all trying to do to move science forward and, and be seen. So um, what I'm going to do is just tell you first that the way we're going to divide the day up is we're going to start off by talking about the sectors of economic importance and how Genome PC is really trying to move via this entrepreneurship engine and these uh, discoveries that we're all making and kind of moving forward in our, in our global environment. So um, you all realize our, the majority of our portfolio, about 50 to 60 percent at any one time is in health. But what you may not realize is we have a very significant portfolio in agri-foods, uh, and, uh, and, and you're going to be hearing about that today, in forestry, in uh, mining, and, and, uh, and energy, uh, as well as the environment. And so you're going to be hearing uh, all this today. And, and so the way we've divided the agenda up today is uh, you all have a copy of that, and you all have a copy of the speaker's bios. Um, is that we're, uh, we have a poster competition that just concluded, and now we're getting into the sessions. Um, after the very brief introductory comments, uh, we're going to really focus on the natural resources. And, uh, and Dave Palmer is going to, from GOBC, is going to share that session and introduce the speakers that are uh, Christy Miller, Trevor Stuthridge, uh, Scott Davidson, and uh, Scott Weston. And, uh, and they're going to be respectively talking about uh, fisheries and aquaculture, uh, forestry, mining, and energy. So we're delighted to have you know, four uh, you know, very distinguished individuals from our community and then be able to do the formal, formal introductions for them. They're going to give brief talks. And at the end of their talks, then, uh, we're going to have a short break. And that's going to be followed by an hour of Q&A. And, uh, and it's really, and, and uh, Rachel Ritchie um, is from GLBC is going to uh, moderate that discussion. And really it's going to be, she will start out with some questions for the group, but then it really is going to turn to you and <coughs> your questions for these individuals. Uh, we'll then have lunch in the second poster competition. And following that, we will uh, move into a session in the afternoon on a formal session on entrepreneurship. And I will share this session, and uh, and we're delighted today to have uh, Peter Froman, who's joined us from come all the way from uh, London, England, to join us. And uh, and and Peter is is from Illumina, and uh, and it is a person that you know many of you are you know I think you realize that uh, industry is a very um, viable place for many of the people that are training here, and various stages of training to end up. So I'd really encourage you to talk to Peter and talk to him about some of the opportunities, just his career path and some of the things that he sees coming in the future. And, uh, and Peter, maybe you just raise your hand so everybody knows who you are to set you up. And so, uh, so, so please just feel free. Peter's going to be around all day and feel free to chat with him. Um, then we have four speakers followed by a panel. And, the, and those four speakers are uh, Angus Livingston, a person uh, uh, familiar to many of you who heard from UBC. Uh, Natalie Dakers, again, a familiar person um, from CDRD Ventures, just upstairs here. Uh, Mike Bolver, who is uh, who has is a seat, uh, an angel investor, and and, uh, in, and runs three funds here in, in uh, the Lower Mainland. Uh, and uh, and Gerald Davis, uh, who's joining us from Burson Ventures. Um, we will then have a panel discussion. We have we're very fortunate to have another. One of our local serial entrepreneurs is going to join that panel, that discussion, Thomas Michelson, a person known to many of you here and uh, 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 involved in uh, many of the companies. And again, you'll hear more about that later, but involved in many of the companies here in the lower uh, in, in, in D.C. Um, that will be followed by an update by Gabe. I uh, will give a, a short update on, uh, uh, on and, 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 and Alan Whitrush, I should mention, will moderate that panel this 
discussion. Um, getting calmer then was going to just give you an update on some of the funding things that are going on at GNOBC, some of the opportunities uh, that I know you're all going to be interested in. And then last but not least, we're going to announce the winners of the, uh, uh, of the poster competition. So, and each one of the winners will be given a couple minutes. Uh, they'll do their short TED talk on their, uh, on their, on their, uh, on their work, and, uh, and I'll just give a few closing remarks. So with that, um, let me just um, turn it over to uh, uh, Dr. Alan Winter, our president and CEO, who's going to give you a little bit of an update on our uh, strategic plan for 2015 uh, to 2020. Thanks, Alan. Thanks, Brad, and let me add my welcome to uh, each of you here. I'm Alan Winter, uh, and uh, it'd be good to read as many news that I haven't had before. Um, there's lots of space on this side, so if you're having trouble on that side seeing what's happening, you can feel free to move across the room and uh, take that route that way. Um, so now we're going to uh, uh, talk a little bit about
So first of all, VC being recognized as a leader in the public economy. <coughs> Second of all, to improve the competitiveness of our sectors. And uh, we'll hear more about the sectors going on. Third is research at a world-class level. Fourth, which is really a new one for us, is this entrepreneurship area and commercialization development with a vibrant cluster in this area. And fourth, a public support for genomics. So everything we do, we have to be able to communicate and be transparent about it. So that's, that's where we see the impact of GMBC. And so much of the work that you've been undertaking uh, in various projects, uh, if you like, help make that happen in British Columbia. And so the deliverables really are quite specific in the plan. And it's specific around about 60 million a year, we, we believe, will be invested in the VC. Um, we'll be funding applications which are really understood by users. We'll be able to bring together companies into sector innovation <coughs> centers. We think probably health, energy, and forestry will be areas that will be of interest. To take specific products through the system, not that we will do all of that, we will assist it in, in various ways. We can talk more about that. To we'll partner with, uh, with other people who are involved with this, VC accelerators, investors, uh, seed fund managers, et cetera, et cetera. And basically, the bottom line is to encourage the development of the bioeconomy in BC for ourselves, for our kids, for generations to come, because we're able to take this investment um, and put it into uh, the economy of BC as we move forward. So that's a very quick summary, uh, Brad, and 